Haribo, and welcome to part one of Murdunga Highlights. Now, Murdunga Highlights is a new series I'm starting to kind of try to bring a lot of new variety into this Murdunga instruction. So, we have one series which is Murdunga Lessons, and that series is for the total beginner who has zero experience with Murdunga to go from zero to uh, playable. Okay, and so the, the lessons that go in the Murdunga lesson series are ordered by number and they are progressively more difficult. So <clears throat> that series will continue to uh, go on. We'll continue to add videos for that. But uh, that's for the total beginner and it's a strict progression from the beginning. But there are a lot of things that I want to share that don't follow in that strict progression. So I wanted to create a new series called Murdunga Highlights that will be sort of... Uh, whatever types of uh, Murdunga instruction that come to mind. Uh, they can be at different skill levels for advanced, for expert, for, for beginner, for intermediate. So this, this new series that is going to be kind of random in the topics that I choose. So it's going to be a little bit of, it'll be jumping around from a little bit of uh, advanced stuff to intermediate stuff to other things. And it may also include some uh, instructions on, uh, on singing and kirtan, and uh, playing kartals and other rhythmic exercises and things like that. So this Murdanga Highlights is going to be sort of a, a, a mishmash of many different topics. So uh, that helps me because then I don't have to be constrained to the strict progression of the Murdanga instruction for basic beginners. So I can hopefully put out more videos uh, sooner and more frequently. Today I want to discuss a cool, to a cool topic that many have been asking about. This is not something, again, this does not follow from the beginner series. Okay, so there are many, many steps between the end of the, the beginner series and this. So what I'm going to teach you today is the sliding, the sliding gay. A lot of people have asked about this and uh, a lot of people have seen expert Madanga players playing the sliding gay. Now, before I get into that, let me explain a little bit about what this is. Normally, we've been playing with gays that sound like this. That's the open gay, which you beat with the, uh, with the fingers and immediately release so that it vibrates. Gay. Now, when you play gays like that, when you play open gays, that style, there's, a, there's two different styles of playing. That first style is called Guruvani. Okay, Guruvani, Guru means heavy. So this is the heavy voice of the Madanga. Guruvani. Or like that. So when you play something like that with the heavy beats, the open gay, that's called Guruvani. The sliding gay is called Laguvani. Lagu means light, so this is the Murdanga's light voice. Laguvani is usually taught much, much after Guruvani because Guruvani is easier and it's for the beginner. For the more experienced uh, performer who wants to learn more, that's what Laguvani is for. It sounds very sweet for bhajan and small kirtans. Laguvani is with the sliding gaze or with with soft, softly played gaze that are played with the fingers rather than the whole hand. Like this. Like that. So what we're going to what we're going to learn now is a little bit of Laguvani style. Laguvani again. <clears throat> let's start with the first one. You can play an open gaze with Laguvani by first uh, take the uh, bottom of the, pop, the 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 wrist right here and press it against the side of the drum like this. You have to press it in order to suppress the sound a little bit, okay? Otherwise it'll just sound open. So suppress the sound a little bit and, and hit strongly with your middle fingers, uh, your middle finger and ring finger like this. Okay, and in Laguvani you also play K's a lot of the time by flicking your finger like this. Do you see the difference? So it was, it was before, now it's like that. Ge and ke. And then the sliding ge is often called gin. So I'll show you what it looks like, but then we'll break it down. Okay, so different styles of sliding as well. So let's start with uh, the very basic, how to slide. Okay, that's something that people ask me all the time. How do you slide? How do you make this sliding gear sound? 
So the the basic principle is you have to get you have to get the head vibrating. It has to be vibrating for you to be able to slide. If I just slide my hand, it makes no sound. I mean, it just sounds like sandpaper. That's, that's all it is, right? It has to be vibrating first. So first you hit it with a nice strong ge to get it resonating like that. And as soon as you hit it, right after that, take your wrist and your palm, the bottom of the palm, and slide it across just like that. Actually, what I'm, the, the main contact point is right here in this curve of the bottom of the thumb into the wrist right here. That's the main contact point. So and notice on my hand, there's a little bit of a callus here and that develops as you play this style. So first hit the gay and then just slide it across. Do you see, did you hear that? It was a nice little bend like that. It has to be strong. You've got to put pressure. You got to put pressure on the drum to, uh, to slide it across, even consistent pressure and slide it quickly, just like that. And it'll make that nice whoop. All right, that's what we like to hear. All right, practice this for a while before, until you can get a whoop. Okay, so uh, that, that's the very first step. Now normally we don't play gate, we don't play slides like that. We play it all simultaneously like this. Okay. So, the most proper Bengali ghe that's sliding is actually played downwards instead of uh, forward, okay? So, the forward style is for someone who's not as experienced, okay? It's easier to do, okay? But the actual expert style is downward. Okay? Now, I'm not a total expert at this, so sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't, but most of the time I try. Okay, just like that. So the way that it's done simultaneously, let's do the forward style, which is easier. The simultaneous way of doing it is you have to hit it. We, we practice this first, right? Hit it with your uh, fingers to get it resonating. And at the same time, slide across. So it'll, it'll be a strong hit to resonate it and then slide. Did you hear that? First hit it and then slide across, but do it really quickly so it's almost simultaneous. Just like that. So, uh, to do it the expert way, which is downward, which is the Bengali style, you have to use this entire thumb as the contact point, just like this. So it's going to slide downwards, and at the same time it's going to hit with your, with your finger, middle fingers. So, if I'm playing it sideways like this, so, the very quick slide gait is either forward or down, okay? And the expert way is down. Like that. Now, uh, <clears throat> beyond that, there's, a lot, there's uh, other variations as well. There's the continuous rolling slide, which sounds sort of like this. That's simply taking the, the first slide, the, and this time what happens is, rather than sliding forward, we slide backwards. So, <clears throat> hit it, and then slide backwards, like this. So, you hit it while going backward, and then slide forward. And if you do this su uh, successively in rapid succession, then you can get it really fast and get this whoopy whoopy whoop. And it's used in a kirtan uh, in the mantra such as this. So, try to learn those uh, different styles of gay, which are sliding. First is the uh, the, the laguvani gay. Play like that. The laguvani ke. Or like this. All right, and then the first slide, which is the forward slide. Okay, and then the downward slide, and then the continuous slide. All right, and again, to to get the slide, it's all a matter of resonating it, and then sliding. See, if it's a very resonant drum like mine, you can hit it way afterwards and still get a whoop. 
That was a long delay. Uh, <clears throat> other note to take is if your hand is getting stuck, if, if your hand is too, let's say, uh, there's too much moisture on either the hand or the drum, then it will be very hard to slide. You'll get, you might start ripping your skin. Actually, in fact, you will rip your skin the first few times you try this, and it's normal, and uh, it's just something most of you have to tolerate. But <clears throat> what you can do to help that is put baby powder on your hands and on the head of the drum. Not too much, don't drench it in powder. Just put it, just make sure that the powder gets all over your hand and then all over the drum head. It's a little bit, this is especially helpful for those uh, fiberglass balaram drums. So <clears throat> use, use this baby powder to get, your, uh, to get uh, less friction so that it is drier on both surfaces. All right, so that, in, that concludes this first Murdanga highlight on how to play in the Laguvani style. The first thing is you got to learn how to do these slides. Once you learn that, then we can go into different mantras. Thank you very much. Haribo.